welcome. I echo uh, Dustin's welcome to all of you to your legislative assembly. We are honored to have you here today. We're very, very proud to be able to welcome you here and uh, to, uh, to thank you for the uh, inspiring example that you have set. Uh, the motto, as you know, for the Olympics, the Sidious, Meltius, Fortius, Swifter, Higher, Stronger. Your efforts personify that motto at our Olympic Games in Vancouver and at the Paralympic Games as well. You went even further. You added a couple more words for all of us. You added inspiration and you added legacy. Your participation in the Games uh, has doubtless inspired a generation of Saskatchewan young people. Some of them are here today, many of whom watched you on television. The seeds that you have sown will bear fruit in the near term, in the mid term, and in the long term. At the next Olympics, at the Olympics after that, at our summer games in this province, at our winter games, but in recreational activities just in our community and in our schools. Your athleticism, your skill, your perseverance, the integrity, and the professionalism with which you uh, represented all of us is truly inspiring for kids of all ages in Saskatchewan and all of us gathered here today. Joseph Addison, the 17th century essayist and poet, described legacies as things left behind by great genius, handed down from generation to generation. They are, he said, presents to the posterity of those who are yet unborn. And in this regard, in this definition, this is the legacy that you have, you have given to all of us. And while you were doing it, I know you were also representing not just the country, uh, but Saskatchewan and the, your home communities. Uh, Colleen told me, in fact, that a hockey practice uh, over her uh, Canada practice jersey was an Andy Van jersey uh, from the Riders. So everybody would know, obviously, uh, about the province that you're from. There are countless stories like this from each of you and from our officials and from the coaches. And so additionally, we're grateful for your representation of Saskatchewan. Because of your efforts, I'm very happy to report that together with our partners, because of our efforts through the pavilion and through Saskatchewan's participation in the games, but obviously mostly because of your inspiration, we were able to raise, in addition to what we already invest in our athletes, we were able to raise as a result of our pavilion and the efforts of Saskatchewan and the Olympics, another $400,000, which will go directly for, uh, to athletes uh, in, in this province. And in addition to that, because the bison burgers and some other things we were selling in our pavilion were as popular as they were, we'll top that up with another $46,000 in the proceeds just from our pavilion, in addition to the $400,000 that was raised when municipalities partnered with our Olympic effort and when companies joined in sponsorship, and we are grateful to them today as well. Happy to announce that. Part of that money is going to go to the Dream Broker Program at Sacred Heart. Uh, we are going to be investing in kids' sport. We're going to be investing directly in and athletes because of that, and that's also what we want to uh, celebrate today. I just... <laughs> if, I may, if I may do this, today is about the athletes, the mission staff, the coaches, and officials of Paralympians, Olympians, but we have some people here who helped make our pavilion possible and successful as it is. Would you just please stand so we can also thank you, anyone that was involved in our pavilion, I see a jack in back there, so if we could just get you to stand and uh, say uh, My wife and I had the great honor of going to one of the medal presentations with Premier Campbell and, uh, at BC Place. In the back room before we went on to the podium, it was very quiet, a humble man sitting there, Tammy, my wife being who she is, she, that's the first person she walked up to, and she started chatting with this individual, it turned out to be Kim Keenum, the legendary distance runner from Kenya. Who was there that day at the Olympics? He literally invented high altitude training for distance runners. You'll know in 1965, Kip ran 3,000 meters for the first time, shading six seconds off the world record. In the 68 Summer Olympics in Mexico, he won 1,500 meters by 20 uh, meters, the largest winning margin uh, in the history of the event. Four years later, he won the gold in, in the 3,000 meter, and now he lives on a farm in Western Kenya. He's giving back. He's paying it forward. He runs a charitable organization for orphans, an organic farm. He operates uh, to support uh, a new high school, to support orphans, and to support athletics in that country. He's responsible for the Kip Kino High.
High Performance Training Center. He says this to his athletes, and I quote, you came into this world with nothing, and you will be leaving uh, with nothing. Uh, so, uh, to our Olympians and Paralympians, I think you understand better than anybody in this room that what counts is what we do between those two events, when we come in, when we go out, and you have already contributed greatly. Uh, in terms of what happens between those two events, and we are the, ben we are the benefactors of that. So, we salute your achievements, we thank you for your example and your inspiration, uh, and we welcome you here to your legislative assembly.